Folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a really easy one for you here. It's a, one of those weird finds that you have every once in a while. So for the longest time with a lot of the stuff that I've been sharing with you, I've been preaching quality and maybe some people might find this contradicts that a little bit. Uh, but you know what, this is for fun and it's a test and it's for me to do and share with you guys how it turns out. So that's part of the fun of YouTube, I guess you would say. Well, I've been on a little bit of a Timu shopping spree and I'm not buying anything super serious on there that, you know, is uh, super technical or electronic or anything like that. I haven't yet anyway, but I did have a little shopping spree on there for a few different things on videos that I thought, you know what, we'll try this out, see if it's any good or not, uh, especially for the price point. For me, shopping on Timu is kind of like, brings back memories of being a kid and shopping at the dollar store and you know, your mom gives you five bucks and you just tear the store up. <laughs> So that's kind of what this is. Man, for really cheap, what I picked up on there are some little mounts for my M18 battery. And I thought, you know what? That would be really nice. You guys see my previous videos. It's tough for me to keep a clean workspace, I feel like. I, I don't know why I just struggle with that. I just, I think I have too much stuff and it overflows everywhere. And if I would spend the time to find the place to put it in, then I'd probably be good. So that's what this attempt is here. So what I got was a five pack, one's missing somewhere, I'm sure it's somewhere around here, a five pack of these little brackets that, so let's just open one up and I'll show you what it looks like. What you do is you mount this on your wall, the four corners here, and your battery just sits down in there like that. I'm sure I've got a battery here I could share with you guys. In fact, I've got one sitting on the charger. This is a, this is just a three amp, but should work with them all. So you can see, it looks like, oh, I've got it flipped upside down. I think that arrow goes down, just slides in there. Wow, and it actually clips in. So this will not fall out now, and you can take it off. What I thought we could do with this is we could mount these on the wall. That'll put my batteries up here and out of the way, and then they're ready for use. The real question is, how should I mount these? Should I mount them to the side like that? I don't really know. That's a good question. I'll come over here and let's figure this out. Well, thank goodness we have the wall space to do this. I, uh, huh, I'm a little perplexed on this. What's going to be the best, best move? What's the most comfortable? Just doing it like, like that. Or is it better like that? Uh, whichever decision I make will be wrong. You guys will let me know in the comments, right? <laughs> Actually, I feel like, you know what, maybe if it's lower, that way I can actually reach up here and get it. Let's do that. Let's mount it about right here next to the, um, next to this outlet here. That way it stays close to the charger. Guys, I'm really going to have to think through my process here. I tell you, I've got, I've got a stuff everywhere, but then also I'm going to start thinking through this stuff, guys. I, uh, I've allocated most of my funds towards mechanical type stuff i'm starting to see the real benefit in potentially having some some carpentry tools i could use a good level here if i was smart it does come with screws that's nice I've got one of those speed levels here this came with a tv mount or something i could put some of these in this bowl here and let's go get my drill by the way this little m18 stubby impact has become one of my favorites i use that thing a ton all right, let's find me a proper bit here. It's going to work beautifully. Let's pull this out. Tell you what, I'll hang one of these. We'll start and see what it looks like. Well, here goes nothing. We could at least put one of these in. I'm trying to be somewhat methodical about this. I want to... Make sure I'm not bumping into this. I think about right there is going to be good. Mark a dot in there. I don't know if it'll fit. See, that's where I want it. All right, let's take a screw. See how she works. Too bad these bits weren't magnetic. I do not like putting holes in walls, but 
this is a good cause here. That's why I'm probably second guessing myself so much. Boy, doesn't get any more level than that. You could probably get away with just two screws on this, but you know, it came with the appropriate stuff. It came with the appropriate amount. We might as well do it right. Watch me mess this up. I should have taken that slower. There we go. And then what I'm thinking I can do is take my batteries that are full. That is pretty nifty right there. I like that a lot. Now I just got to make sure I space them out enough that they don't interfere with each other. Beautiful. Oh, actually, neat. I'm just noticing something about this. This is not bad. Look at this. They have grooves that lock into each other. <laughs> that is slick. Smart. I'm, I'm sold on this. I think you guys should buy it. I uh, wasn't expecting that. Let's, let's go ahead and put one in and see. See how well they lock together once they're in. Must be hitting the stud back there. Let me tell you, these don't need a ton of torque down. Beautiful. Now, I need another battery. See how well that locking system locks it together. Well, this one needs a charge, but we can at least throw it in there. I think that's going to work. That's actually plenty of room to get my, at least my hands in between them and pull them out. I, man, guys, I am sold on this. That is a good system right there, especially for Timu. I wasn't expecting much, but these, these are pretty well designed. I think I'm going to put one more up. I've got five, but I don't even know that I have that many batteries floating around. I leave one in my light. I leave one in my light that hangs out up here. But uh, I, I have several of these things. You start getting into the tools, and man, it's easy to uh, it's easy to collect these batteries. Let me go ahead and mount a few more, and just throw them up here. So I'm determined I've got four of these. Well, I have. Oh, math on camera dangerous what I've got four I've got five of these batteries so I've got enough for all five of them but I do like to keep one there so we'll mount four and as I mentioned earlier my system here will be only fully charged batteries go in the dock I need a better solution for my charger over there. It's just kind of, I threw a screw up. You guys are probably going to make fun of me how I'm mounting these screws here. They're not going in very straight. That one's fully charged. Well, that's satisfying too, that click. So far, none of these have been a miss. They just click right in place. Beautiful. I gotta say, I am way more impressed and excited about these than what I thought I was going to be. I'm gonna mount one more. I wish I would have done this a long time ago and put more thought into how I uh, wanted to do my mounting system here. As I mentioned just a second ago, I've got this mounted just on one screw here. I need something cleaner, something better. But for no more money than what this was, I think it's worth it to take the time 
to do something like this in your shop because what I find is if you think about your time being worth something if you're like me you'll throw those batteries around can't find them or if you have a or maybe they're not charged if you have a system to say this is where my charge batteries go I will always know that I can come right here grab one of these batteries and it'll be charged and ready for me this is just this is a nice system right here guys well folks I'm just as tickled as can be with my mounting system here this is, this is gonna save me a lot of time and trouble. Now I'm thinking I need something for my M12s. I've only got two of these so far. I've just started getting into the 12 volt system. The 18 does everything that I need it to. I just, um, I just find that these 12 volts, they're a little handier to carry around when you consider the weight. Well, that is the first of many to come for a few little videos here and there. This is nothing too serious. And, uh, and if I find something I don't like, I'll let you know up front. You know, I, I am, I'll tell you, I'm very honest about that. I, I don't, I try not to be a shill for things. I really do because I hate whenever I get preached about something and then get it and it's the quality sucks or things of that nature. So sometimes that happens to me and I, if I get it and I don't like it, I don't make a video about it because I don't want to promote something that I don't believe in or don't like. But if I do get something that's exceptionally bad, I might make a video for you guys just to poke at it but this this is top notch here guys this was worth the money um i'm gonna leave a link both to timu for this and i'll try to find something comparable on amazon if you'd rather buy it stateside and get it a little quicker than what timu can but this one right here is a win i didn't know what to expect with buying some stuff on there i'm very happy with this one uh wasn't expecting to have the little lock system to stand these out in a good way that, that was smart wasn't something i thought about but I'm pretty happy with it. That was just a short, sweet one for you guys. As I said earlier, anything you can do to keep yourself more organized is going to pay dividends in the future. If you think about over the years of me using this stuff, the time I've probably wasted looking for batteries or looking for a charge battery, it'd probably be a shame to know. This is going to help me out quite a bit. All right, guys, got questions, thoughts? Tell me what you think. Till the next video, take care.